Hey people. Hello, hello. Scott Fay again with the Loser Vago. And Project Two. You sure you can be heard? And Project Two. First off, I want to give a couple of shout outs. A couple of thank yous. To Patty. To Delaware Mom. Let me see, let me see. And the Lex over at Field Supply. Yeah, yeah. Hey, girl. Thank you very much for the shirt. He loves it. Oh, yeah. I'm loving this. Thank you. Um... Let's see. Kind of straightened up a little bit. Enough to be able to shoot the video. <laughs> not showing you the rest of the house right now. It's it, not too it's too not bad. too too big. But ain't great neither. No. It is the way it is. We have been so busy, sorry about not being able to get any videos out. We have been extremely busy over here. Yeah. Uh, we lost a close dear friend, and we had to, you know, do the the viewing and funeral and all of that. That being said, going right past that, we're skipping that, and. We've been getting a lot done around here. We've been getting a lot done. I tend to double down and like just focus on crap instead of dealing with emotions. <laughs> it's healthy. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. It's healthy enough. Nothing else, do you at least get twice as much done? Yeah. You know? What? <laughs> I can't help it. This is what I do things. Uh, let's see. What else? Well, we've started delivering for another church on Fridays. They have a, uh, a soup kitchen. So, when they're done, we'll pick up everything they have left over. And we'll deliver it out to the camps. We started uh, last Friday. They gave us a call and told told us they had a whole bunch of extra meals left over. So we went over and picked them up. So we went out and gave out at least 20 plus meals. Uh, and everybody loved it. They loved the fact that we were running around giving meals. Yeah. On top of whatever. On top of the other stuff we give out. They also give us like three cases worth of uh, like cold supplies. Uh, we picked up my like uh, I don't know. It must. It, it, I can't even guesstimate how many loaves of bread that was that we dropped off. For, oh uh, yeah, the same church Sunday told breakfast. us. A couple of days later, saying they had extra bread. I mean, we had loaves. We had it's like a hundred loaves, loaves in the back of almost. that van. Yeah. So we went down to the biggest shelter and we hooked them up. 
built them up. We gave out a couple of loaves of bread here or there, but yeah, the majority went over to the shoulder. Now the goal is, like, to fill the week out like that, to get more, more soup kitchens giving us their leftovers. There ain't no point in nothing going, going to waste like that. And like, for our lunchtime run, we can deliver for the for the di different soup kitchens. That way, I mean, it doesn't even eat into our supplies at all. Other than like adding some waters to it, you know. That way, the the other runs can be our runs, you know. That way we get more out. Besides it, it nurtures a, a working relationship between the churches. And I like that. Yeah, we should all be working together. We're all on the same team. All right. care if you wear your cross around your neck or if you wear it on your wall or if you wear a little St. Peter pendant or a little Madonna pendant. I, I don't care. I, I, I don't give two craps whether you're this way or that way. Like, it's all the same. Do you have the Holy Spirit? You're good. <laughs> you know? Anyway. So we've been getting, we've been getting a bit done. And we've been networking and getting getting tied in with other other organizations and groups trying to work things out the donations that have been coming in you guys are awesome that, that's beautiful we need more but it's beautiful <laughs> you always need more there's another bag upstairs that's all that that's, that's all that I noticed that last night. Yeah, I started going through it in pre-sorting. But I was like in the middle of doing two two or three other things. So <laughs> it was like, I pre-sorted it and left it there. I gotta get back to that. I know. I saw it the other night too. I just wanted to. I know. Last night I wanted to make sure. Yeah, most of this week we haven't been getting much sleep either. Well, I mean, that's, come on, that's, that's just us at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see. I took an outside show for somebody else. Uh, not going to be on the board. I'm going to do sound, actually. I'm just... I'm going in as a roadie. Just moving some stuff. Nice, easy day. No worries, no concerns. Just... Pick things up and put things down. It's... It, yeah... I'll take that. Absolutely. <laughs> like, electric's not my concern. Like, 
Yeah, like nothing's my concern. Like I don't gotta worry about jack squat, just pick things up, put things down. Yeah. I'll do that gig. I'll do that gig in a heartbeat. So we're up at the waterfront tonight. No idea if it's a band or an acoustic act or this, that, or the other. I have no clue. No clue, no care. Like, yeah. It just is what it is. I'm doing it's, a show. Uh, go and find out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find out when I get there. No clue. I have no idea if it's a local or a national. I have no idea. <laughs> no care or concern about it either. It's a gig. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm wearing my hair down. I got little freaking strands everywhere. We've also been doing more upstairs. Oh yeah, we've been getting a lot done up there. A lot done. We have decided instead of putting the clothing closet downstairs we are going to use the first part of the third floor one third one third of the third floor as our clothing closet yeah so we've been running around getting that together working on the set a little yeah we went we went a little crazy with it yeah we sectioned off one one whole third. We're putting up racks. Uh, we got a big sorting table up there. A desk. Like, we're hooking it up. We're hooking it up. We're putting in the hours and we're hooking it up. I can't wait to show you guys that. We got more done last night than I thought we would, but not as much as I wanted to. Which is a good happy medium, you know? Yep. Always set the goal way too high. Like, way too high. But, there's a method to the madness. You know? Because it's what you would settle for. What you'd be happy with. Then I like to set the goal way to frig up here. So when you fall short, you're still above what you're willing to settle for. Yeah. You know? It's... So either way, you're winning because you're yeah. happy. Yeah. Either way. More than you would have normally done. And, you know, it's a stressful way to do it, but. I like it like that. You feel better about yourself at the end of the day. When you go for it. Yeah. Leave nothing on the table. <laughs> Leave nothing left in your reserves. Just...
burn yourself down. You get to start the next day refreshed. Completely anew. Yep. I like it like that. Because I'm... Oh, my asshole. <laughs> I'm mainly just an asshole to myself, though. So. Although. If he does get some overflow from that. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> it's okay. Is it, though? It's okay. Alright. Anyway, uh. Let's see. We've been getting a lot of devotionals, the little Bibles, uh, little booklets, uh, our daily breads, all that kind of stuff's been going out. Yep. We've been running around giving them out to along with our waters and everything else we give. See upstairs on the third floor. We drug out the there's a Santa Claus sleigh up there. So we drug that out. And we gotta put it all together. Because it's packed away in pieces. So we gotta put Santa's sleigh together. But we keep getting toy donations, so why not fill up Santa's sleigh with toys that, like, the homeless can give to their kids and crap like that. So, we decided to make that part of the closet. Closet. It's more like a big-ass thrift store at this point. Pretty cool though. Uh, we'll have blank cards on there for Christmas, birthdays, holidays. That way they can actually pick out cards for people. They can pick out gifts. Have a little wrapping station. Uh, as well as get clothes for themselves or whatever. Just an added little feature. You know, something to make people feel like people again. You know. One of the other reasons why we made it bigger was the fact that <clears throat> there's a couple of churches around here that are closing their clothing, like get rid of their clothing closets, and so. It, yeah, it looks like we will be taking over their clothing closets as well. Yeah. So, since we're going to be, you know, one of the few around that actually still has one, might as well make it bigger. Yep. So, we can take that extra flow. So, As other people make changes, we'll just to keep just keep adapting. Yep. You know, build a gap where we got to. Don't let it break your stride. Don't let it like trip you up. No, just roll with it. Figure it out. We got the good Lord behind us. It's like we'll figure it the frig out. It don't matter. No matter what happens, we'll figure it out. Yep. Ain't gonna stress on nothing. Except for the hours of the day. And we'll stress about that a little bit. Cause it just, it just ain't enough. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> there just ain't enough. No, there isn't. There is not enough hours in the day to get some yeah. of this stuff done. <laughs> but it's alright. It's alright. We'll figure it out. We always do. It's kind of fun half the time just flying by the seat of your pants. You know? <laughs> We never know. We never know nothing. We have vague ideas at best. Yeah. I mean, you can make plans all you want. But, I mean, it's about the Lord's plan. Yes, it is. And we don't have the blueprint to that. So, nope. We uh, we just go with the flow. <laughs> like that. <laughs> we just go with it. Been working out quite well, quite well for us. No. Yep. Yes, it has. Faith alone. Gets a little, gets a little unnerving every once in a while. Yeah. But then you just gotta suck it back up and go, hey. Has it failed yet? No. No. Have faith. Yep. And it always works out. Yes, it does. Anyway, what else? What else, girly? been reconfiguring the van a bit. Yeah. Uh, to make it easier to get to things. We've kind of settled on a way for right now. We'll be making another uh, back of the van short video here soon. Let's see. We got t-shirts in there. We got food, first aid, uh, waters. Every now and then we have special drinks like the chocolate. Uh, the meal, it's like their meal, the meal replacement. Yeah. Like, they're kind of like insurers. Yeah, they're actually pretty good, especially uh, cold. Yeah. We got like a like a twelve pack of like the friggin' uh, the vanillas. Uh, people tore through them. Like, if you want to donate soda, go right ahead. Like off brand, just grape or orange or whatever. Like. People would go ecstatic over that. Uh, snacks. Any kind of snacks. Any kind of snacks. Darn near. Don't bring me no chocolate. Don't do that to me no more. <laughs> like, little candy bars, they do not hold up in the heat in, that tr in the van. They melt like crazy 
all their Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Rolls, candy canes. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't melt. Yeah. You know? Neosporin, uh, triple antibiotic, uh, large bandages, band aids, uh, liquid skin. People have blisters that are crazy. Socks. Uh, Always socks. Yeah. Feminine products. Mm -hmm. Feminine products. <laughs> Anything female -ish. Yeah. Uh, Razors. Um, tooth. Oh, we've gone. We've gone we through a whole no, bunch of toothpaste and toothbrushes. Yeah, we so. have no toothbrushes left. We could definitely use toothbrushes and toothpaste. Um, Deodorant. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. Everybody wants wet wipes. As soon as they come in, they go we right have, back yeah, out. Yeah, we have plenty of hand sanitizer. We have no wet wipes. Uh, washcloths. Yes. A lot of people have been asking for washcloths lately, too. Any are, are appreciated. But white, white gets dirty and shows the dirt real fast. Any colors would do better like yeah probably like a dark color that's perfect <laughs> like something that won't show the dirt stains as much black brown something Think of? Wow, well, no. Um, use your best judgment, people. Use your best judgment. I'm sure it'll be right. Go with that gut feeling. Whatever it is. Coolers. People have been asking about. Yeah, coolers, coolers, bags, coolers, uh, backpacks. Any kind of like tote bags, uh, any bags at all, in fact, paper bags, plastic bags. We're in a bag shortage. Yes. So, anyway, we're getting a little long here. So, we love you guys. Uh, be good to each other. Whether you're a Christian or not, we love you. And we want the best for all of you. So, be good. Be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. And we'll see you in the next. Yep. Sound good? Yes, it does. Alrighty, why don't you sign off, baby? Later. Later.